over there is the park what the kids actually love they've got the um the flying saucer thing up there what ben was sitting in and it's hard to believe that when we first started vlogging three years ago all these were all fields and it's amazing how quick these houses actually go up these days isn't it? Welcome to Thursday. How are we all doing today? Yet yeah, the boys have just gone off to school. Sammy Blessing was so excited, just watching the movie this afternoon. I know normally before what happened, they used to go out and into community, like go shopping, um, to get bits and pieces they need for cooking. But obviously that's all stopped at the minute. So I hope fingers crossed when things get back to normal, they can still do that. Because obviously Sam used to love going out and getting bits and pieces, love, love cooking. So um, also, <laughs> they got some vouchers and money for Christmas, which they haven't actually spent yet. So Sam said he can't wait for the shops to open so he can actually go and spend his Christmas money and, and he also his vouchers. Lucky they got no um, expiry dates like that. So maybe when the shops open that weekend, I might take them shopping so he can find and spend his vouchers and things like that. I did actually say to him, you can order it online if you want to. No, no, mummy, I want to see what I'm buying, which is fair enough, because I know we made that mistake a couple of times over lockdown. We didn't actually necessarily get what we wanted. That makes sense, like Sammy's dress of drawers. I, the picture made them look really, really bigger than what they were, but that was quite tidy. But also, anyway, Ben woke up this morning really, really happy, really, really giggly, which was really, really lovely. He gave his carers some really, really lovely eye contact and was trying to talk to them. And they even said today was the easiest it's been all week, trying to get him on his bus. So I fingers crossed he's going to get back into his sleeping routine and I feel like him getting up, going to school and hopefully try and make him back to his normal happy self because not really the last week, but it's the last couple of days. How much more happy and more relaxed he is. Even the head banging stopped. Well, it hasn't actually stopped. It's slowed right down. But we did have a bad night with him last night. It's about half twelve this morning before I went off to sleep. He was definitely panicking. But we're definitely thinking it is sleep deprived again because obviously he wasn't sleeping properly. Then he was then he was laying on the floor, not laying off his energy because he didn't want to do anything. And then when it come to bedtime, he wasn't tired. So it's like a vicious circle. So hopefully, fingers crossed, him getting back to school and him interacting with school is going to break the cycle. But also, I am going to check Google in a minute see if there's any sleep charities of like local to us so I can give some advice really because. See if they can help us. They can either say yes or no, they can't they? Because we do have a local one near us, but there's a 13 month waiting list, believe it or not. So I know, I think Cereva used to do one. I'll have to double check if they do or not. So anyway, yeah, I've also got a few jobs doing the house again this morning. I need to go to the post office and knock our parcels off. And I've got a nice big pile of washing again to do. So, yeah, so I'm just walking down to the post office now to send off this helmet of Ben's, which is too small for him. So I'm going to have to chase up the appointment for him now. Because obviously we should have had it ages and ages ago, but obviously what happens to push back and push back. So Stephen thought, right, you come across this website, she thought he'll order it. And come yesterday, isn't this? This far too small and fit his head. But anyway, as you can see, it's quite quiet in town to be honest with you. Obviously, still got a few cars parked, a few cars driving down the road, but people wise, there's hardly anyone around. It'd be quite interesting to see what happens when lockdown's actually lifted, how many people are around. The weather isn't exactly that great either, so then that is put people off as well.
lunch now we're actually going out for a walk obviously seems like we'll start losing a bit of weight but obviously with the gyms being closed and things like that we can't get into it can we we're then going back to school again at the moment and the care is helping us get in the van for the transport it's actually they do say walk it walking is the best form of exercise you can get to our sound hour fresh to be honest with you it's hard to believe it i bet we'll do about three thousand plus steps in the way back there. i bet we'll actually but so i bet it's hard to believe about 15 is it 15 and a bit longer than that but it's probably 20 years ago we started doing that yeah about 20 years ago we was actually resting train it's quite scary that's when we were a lot a lot thinner and eight off so we were a lot younger what we were back then as well weren't we mm. And that, yeah, I used to go kickboxing twice a week as well, which was quite a fun thing. Like, obviously, you had the boys, and then I didn't forget this one, not actually trying to yeah. Well, let's just go down this way and let's just have a nose. And so, yeah, so I was like, so we had the boys and just lost our motivation and things like that. And then, obviously, then Ben's problems wrecked us with our motivation like crazy. So, we thought we could take the opportunity to, didn't we? And go and have a nose and, some, and see what we can get. Obviously, go around the new houses. As well. I'm not too quite sure if we can get an appointment or we've just got our um, turn up reading, I don't know, because we're still on an iron about selling the house or doing it up, aren't we? Yeah. We're just going to see what our options are, what we can actually get for our budget as well. There is a park what the kids actually love. They've got the um, the flying saucer thing, haven't they, what Ben was sitting in. And it's hard to believe that when we first started vlogging three years ago, all these were all fields and it's amazing how quick these houses actually go up these days, isn't it? Obviously, got the new school over there. It well, yeah, that's a couple. Of, that was yeah, a couple of years ago. Obviously, got the community centre up there as well. And then, obviously, behind the community centre, on that big field up there, it's one of their got a few more shops up there, aren't they? Like a little, when you've got like Tesco Expresses and things like that. But some of these houses up here look really nice. I bet they're expensive, you know. Yeah. Really, really nice, but expensive. And obviously. The old train line used to come down this morning. So if you want to get down there, we'll show where the old line used to go. As you can see, they're building more houses here. And then on Facebook, so they're going to put another, is it another 7,000 more houses here? It's just crazy because they're building houses here, but they haven't actually got the shops or the facilities and nothing like that. It's just wondering how the, like, all the even medical people can survive, you know. I know we've got the hospital just recently built, so. What's that say on there? All right, well, no. I wrote door, I wrote door plane for this equipment is now open. Okay. It doesn't look open, no, does it? The gate is locked. <laughs> yeah, so sadly the office is closed. You do have to make an appointment. I just thought you could turn up, didn't you? Probably will do in a couple of months. Probably will do a couple of months' time, yes. Yeah. So this is the show homes they've got, the Escudel, which is a four bedroom house. But again, what will have a greenhouse to do? This one's quite nice, actually, the Yieldale, this one over here. And this one, oh, this is a. Oh, that's a three bedroom home, so don't really want a three bed unless it's a large one. Because this is what we thought about a four bed at least, and there'll be some normally four beds left like three doubles and one single, so that should be all right. And this one here, this one looks quite nice. This one you like, don't you? She even likes this one, the Malvery. So, Pete is so, so Pete is actually closed, so never mind, eh? Let's try some other time. I've also got the, like, the help to buy things here with fight to deposit, but we don't need that because we've got a house to sell. So, oh well, never mind. Should we go back on, we go back on this way now, yeah? Yeah, all right, okay. So, as you can see, the boys are home from school. Sam has gone straight upstairs to plan his PlayStation and switch whatever he's doing up there. Um, so, yeah, also they said Ben hasn't had a much positive day as what he has he hasn't he hasn't been so chirpy and cheerful and stuff like that so but bless him he has done four full days and this is the most he's ever done since um beginning of september so he's done really really well also it is in time this afternoon he chose to get outside he was having the time of his life out there waiting his feet up until they make some home time when he threw himself to the floor so you can see he's rather rather dirty i need to have a buff they all in sight anyway, aren't you? So just hope he doesn't come down with a cold. We do drinking your juice. Have you drank it? Yeah, you drank your juice. Hi, hey, what's the matter? Where are you going now? Are you going back on your rug? You absolutely love your rug, don't you, my sweeter? Where are we going? I know you're not. Where are you going? What's the matter? 
Oh dear, I didn't realise someone's coming in. He's left the gate open. What are you after, my darling? What are you after? Go in your cupboard. What are you after? Hey, what are you after? Mm -hmm. Hang on then, you can't have a, hang on, do you want a cake or do you want a biscuit? Come on then, just give me the biscuit barrel. Are you right, my darling? Yeah. Do you have a good day at school? Yeah. That's good. Mum will follow their lessons. Did you watch the movie this afternoon? Yeah, I did. What did you watch? I watched. I watched Bugs Life. Oh, Bugs Life. Yeah. So what lessons did you do today? Uh, the same. Which is? Language, BBC, film and instructions. Okay. Um, was Ben alright coming back on the bus or was he mainly this afternoon? He's alright. What about going? Oh, okay. That's good. A bit moaning. What, was he moaning going or coming back? Moaning. Yeah, was he moaning going or coming back? Coming back. Coming back. So then, guys, that brings Thursday's vlog to a close. And, yeah, it was nice to get out for a bit of a walk, actually. I know I walked nearly 12,000 steps because I'd done that a um, few dubs this morning and stuff like that. I think seems you walked about 8,000 steps, didn't you? Yeah, I was just looking at something on Sammy's map. Hang on, I'll turn you around, yeah. It's amazing, yeah? It's amazing how Texas, which is there, yeah. ended up with snow, didn't it? Yeah. And we're here. It's okay. amazing how cold weather can plunge that far south for a period of time and we can't get hardly anything. Oh no. Well, That's crazy, isn't it? We're right in the middle of the country here. Yeah. We're here and Texas is there, so it's lower. That well, makes sense, does it? Yeah, we're in line of Canada, in theory. That's what I say, because we're in Canada, yeah. But Canada seems to get loads and loads of snow. We don't, I say, like, so we don't get hardly any, really. All we get is the crap coming off the Atlantic. Yeah, or the westerly winds and That's things what I mean, like that, yeah. The <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so you can see Ben's had his bath now, just laying on his bed, watching Eagle Piggle. He was seriously he was almost falling asleep in the bath. Are you a boy, my darling? Are you tired? Are you tired? Are you look at all your spots on your face. Hey, all your teenage <coughs> spots. Yeah. <coughs> you right, darling? That's what you get for trying to eat the shaving cream, don't you? Obviously, Seam said he was trying to eat it when you um, gave him a shave. This one, I get my shave with you, are you? You're glued watching Piggle. Snorting shaving cream up your nose. I know, yeah. Do you think, do you think it was whipped cream? Do you think it was cream? Bless him, Luke. You see, bless him. He's actually really, really concentrating on Piggle, aren't you? You just look them. They said they can go back on the road again as well. So maybe, bless you. We could take you to Northampton Dairgate or something to go see Pig. I'm sure he'll love that, wouldn't you? So yes, yeah, so I was saying also about the um, show homes and things like that. A bit disappointed there wasn't open because, like I said, I know, oh, but it does down the thing about making an appointment, doesn't it? That's the thing. So, but the 17th of May, we have to go and have a look. Yeah. So anyway, guys, just want to say thanks for watching today. Mm. Don't forget like, comment, and subscribe, and then we'll see you tomorrow at 7 a.m. Bye. Guys. Where are you going?